I gotta turn that down because if I don't, I might get some copyrights for that song, which I may get anyway, but that's fine. Hello everybody, welcome again to another episode of, um, we're just going to call it DC Case Mods for now, um, I may be changing that soon, I'm not sure, but um, uh, we haven't done a video in a couple of weeks, um, we just moved, just got kind of settled in, still have a lot of stuff to do, uh, a lot of boxes to unbox and put everything together, but I just want to make this video for you guys to let you know we're still here pardon me and uh, we're still doing what we do so we got a new setup here as you can see it's a little bit different the backgrounds different um, basically what I did was just uh, I just I actually made a table I built a table and um, I'll actually be doing a video of that uh, as soon as I get to break it down and look at it I'll show you guys how I built my table. So basically, I just built this eight-foot table right here. Um, it's solid. Um, eight-foot table, about 32 inches tall, and then uh, 24 inches wide. So I just wanted to have enough space uh, to do pretty much everything I needed to do, and I got very adequate space now. Very adequate space. Uh, we moved to a uh, we moved to a little house, so we're in a house now. You can see the lighting lighting is totally better much more light in here so we can uh, do better videos and uh, you know um, uh, move around a little bit more freely so uh, so this is kind of my setup here I still haven't done everything still haven't got everything to where I need to be but we just pan over to see the computer right there and we got one we still got our three monitors set up here um, we have a three monitor set up here so my goal is still to replace this HP monitor right here. I still want to replace this sucker, uh, but that's going to take a little time. It's about 200 bucks, so you know what I mean, on a budget. So, And then we got the screen right here. You're looking at the 31 inch right there, but I got the video feed going through there, so we're not going to look at it ourselves too much. Uh, so basically what we're going to be doing today, and show you what we guys, what what we got here uh, let me do some adjustments because we're going to show you guys what's going to push the keyboard back I got a crazy space right here crazy space so, so this is what we got here this is what we're working with today Dip, we're doing a little modifications on uh, the machine on our machine here let me adjust oh just right there oh now wait a minute before we get started uh, before we get started let me uh let me go back through our little okay let me because this is something I, I gotta get used to doing I have this is the first time I've been first couple of times so uh what are we doing here so oh sponsor 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 sponsors I got my list here for my sponsor so first of all um, we're an advocate of drinking uh, uh, healthy water uh, high HP high H uh, high pH water uh, 8.0 so what we drink is the get real water okay get real water um, you can go get the water at any Publix participating Publix I don't know across the state I mean across the country whether the stores will sell it but it's get real water but you can go to um, getrealwater.com I believe it is to get your water uh, I probably should show you guys that um, let me make sure I got the right website so we do this correctly uh, Let's hit, uh, let's just hit the middle one right here. So I'm gonna pull this over here. So I guess they can get real. Can we get real water? Real water? It's gotta be somewhere around here. Okay, and yeah, there it is right there. Okay, so I'll just pull up the website for you guys so you can see. And this is one of our sponsors right here. So you look right there, it's called, the website is drinkrealwater.com. So there it is in focus. This is drink real, drinkrealwater.com. Uh, high alkaline water, HP, pH, pH of H, pH of 8, I'm sorry, pH of 8. So you can go to right, I really want you guys to see this, so let me get in here. Let me work on my camera skills here. Man, there it is right there. Drink that real water. 
right there. So the website is the website right there is drink realwater.com so you can go to drinkrealwater.com you can go here you can place an order they have the uh, uh the one liter bottles and then i think they got the smaller uh 16 ounce bottles um and you can also start you can also get the concentrate but i don't know if they're selling the concentrate on the website now but um but what we started to do we we we're actually doing the uh we actually do the concentrate as well. So I order the water and I get the concentrate as well. But you can go to um, www.wpdkintenradio.getrealabundance.com. You can go there, you can sign up, and go ahead and start getting your concentrate uh, shipped in to you uh, every month. Um, like I said, you can just put, you can actually put the concentrate in uh, like juice, uh, tea, uh, water. Anything you drink and it will alkalize that water, make it more hyd more uh, hydrated for you. Okay, uh, so go there. That's uh, again. That's w you, you can get buy the bottle water at real water, realwater.com, or you can go to www.wpdkintenradio.getrealabundance.com. Uh, Sign up there. Um, now, <clears throat> if you need your taxes done, because it's still tax season, uh, with taxes in in April, or last day to do your taxes is April fifteenth, but um, you can do your taxes all year but if you need to get your taxes done i recommend uh, going to our lady here uh she does taxes uh she's very good she's a cpa uh we haven't had any problems with her we've been doing our taxes we've been doing our taxes with her for years but you can go and contact her at hilton green tax at yahoo.com that's hilton which is h y um l t o n g r e e n t a x at yahoo.com you can contact her there or you can uh, uh, look her up on Facebook at Hilton Tax, at uh, Hilton Green Tax. Um, look her up on Facebook. Uh, so if you need your taxes done, I recommend to send her. Okay, the next one we have, um, you're looking to get your credit straight. You need to get your credit fixed. I can recommend these guys right here. Go to your fresh, your fresh start dot today. Go to your fresh start dot, dot today. You go there, sign up. And they have a referral referral program right now. You get a hundred dollars for referring somebody else. So whatever the fee is, I'm not sure what it is, but it's very relative. Whatever the fee is, if you refer somebody and they sign up, you automatically get a hundred dollars back. So that just makes you whatever you paid is going to be less than that. So I'm not sure what they charge. Um, and maybe like um, hmm, it could be like two hundred or two fifty. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if they change the prices or not, but if it's 250, you refer a friend, then it comes 150. You get 100 dollars back. So go there, get your credit fixed, get your credit straight. Now it's very important that you do that. Very important. I mean, if you want to buy a car, house, uh, get credit cards, anything like that, you gotta get your credit fixed. And these guys are excellent at doing it. They helped us uh, and our credit steady going up. So go to yourfreshstart.today. Check them out. Um, the next guys uh, we want to talk about is. Um, you need a TV, you need a sound bar, go to these guys right here, zonebestdeal.com. Go check out uh, their website. Uh, you can, uh, the owner there is John. Um, they have great deals on TVs, uh, great deals on sound bars. And, you know, we just recently got a 55 inch Sony Bravia with all the works uh, and a JBL 300 watt um, sound bar to go with it. Great deal, great price. Um, they also do they do offer a 90 day same as cash so that's a great thing too so you can go check them out at uh, it is zonebestdeal.com and they're here locally in Duluth uh, Georgia so but if you're looking for a TV or a sound bar you've got excellent deals on everything I guarantee you we'll be very impressed with these guys so anyway okay so that out of the way guys now let's get to what we're going to be doing showing you guys what we're messing with today and I do want to say, uh, apologize for the um, the case, I mean, the giveaway that we were having. Nobody signed up for the giveaway, so I guess we won't be doing it. Maybe we'll try to do something else later. Mm. But we'll work it out. We're going to try to do something else later. Uh, but for now, so this is what we got. You're looking at it right there. Let's zoom in on this. On these guys. A little zoom in. All right, so 
So this is what we're working with. This is uh, what I wanted to start doing. Well, I, I wanted to do this a long time ago, but what we have here, these are um, EK, these are EK um, modular adapters uh, for the memory. Now what I have installed on my computer now is made by Bits Power, but these are made by EK and they're supposed to be aluminum and I swear when I got these I thought it was like plastic. I felt like they felt like plastic and I was like what the crap why would they send me some plastic crap but apparently it's aluminum it feels like plastic but I guess it's I guess it is aluminum but aluminum is light too so maybe it's not plastic I hope it's aluminum I mean I don't really know how to tell if it is aluminum or not but um I'm hoping it's aluminum, because if it's plastic, it's not going to dissipate any heat very well. Only thing I don't like about these things, they get a lot of fingerprints on them. A lot of fingerprints. I just put my hand across it, and it's just like, look at that. That's uh, Look at all those fingerprints. So, But I guess you won't really see it anyway, because it's going to be down in there. So, But uh, they feel solid. Solid, and uh, they're nice. I mean, they look nice. I mean, you can paint them if you want to paint them. Um, you want to paint a different color you could but um, I wanted to try these out because I had the Biz Power ones and the Biz Power ones are okay but I'm using an EK block so I just wanted to go with the same thing uh, same brand and um, definitely I think these things will gonna work out like it's supposed to I got two sets because uh, I got four sticks of memory so but what I do like about these the Bits Power I only have two screws on the side to hold everything in place, and these have three, so I feel like three screws is going to be more secure than two. Um, so we'll see how these work. Um, and it, they come with all the screws here. So they come with all the screws, and you get a little Allen wrench. So it comes with you know six screws for here, and then the two stop top screws to where you would attach uh, the module to the um, water block. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, work on installing these. I got me a new stick of memory because I only have three in there now because one of my memory sticks went bad. So this is just a eight gig stick of Corsair. It says value select. Um, I had Vengeance in there, but there's not really a difference I think the Avengers may have some kind of overclocking but I'm not overclocking anyway so I just got a regular stick of memory cheapest thing I can do until I get ready to upgrade my memory uh, which I'll be doing eventually one day so we were so basically we're just going to take this little memory here we're going to show you guys how you would put this on here so it's not too hard just bear with me here but I'm loving this table. I'm loving this table. I've got so much space on this table. So this, here we go. So this is how we're going to do it. <clears throat> and if you do have, uh, if you buy memory modules with the heat sink attached, you're going to have to take off the heat sinks. You're going to have to take off the heat sink. And I, I did a video on that. I had to do that before with the memory that I have on there now. So one thing I do have to make sure while I'm doing this is I have to make sure that I put the memory in the same. I have to make sure you put the memory in the same way, all of them, otherwise, you're gonna run into some problems trying to put everything inside. So we'll make sure we do that here. So we're gonna start with this stick. And really, I should have tested this stick before I put it in here, but there's no heat sinks on this memory, so um, it's going to be real easy. And I, I, I really recommend that too. If, if you're going to be water cooling your memory, okay, if you're going to be water cooling your memory, I recommend that you buy memory that doesn't have the um, the heat sinks on it, or memory 
that's very easy to take apart, like the Corsair uh, Dominator memory, they're usually pretty easy to take apart. But sometimes work taking those heat sinks off, you can damage the memory. And that's what I experienced here. So we got a little sticker on the back side here. We are not gonna remove that sticker, we're gonna keep that sticker on there. Um, because we don't there's no memory uh, blocks on this side right here. So we're going to use um, the thermal paste that they gave us, the thermal pad, and we're going to put the thermal pad over there like this. That will help everything stick together. Okay. And uh, we're going to take this right here. Hold on. What's going on? Huh? What's wrong, Mom? Okay, so um, I said so we've done this actually before, but I'll just show you guys again. So how we're gonna do this? So um, this little tape right here, we're gonna take this off. You really don't need a special tool to do it. It's just tape or a label. I just try to be careful by peeling it off because I don't want to. I want to get it all in one piece, otherwise it's going to be kind of difficult. Come on. Now, as I'm looking at this memory, it looks very much similar to the other memory that I have already in there. And like I said, I'm not really sure how they do it, but... To me, it seems like it's just a marketing scam of how they do it because it could, uh, it really seems like a marketing scam because it could be the same memory. They just put a heat sink on it or some fancy heat sink or some fancy LEDs or whatever, blah, blah, blah. I mean, when you really get into it and you're talking about like memory, you're going to be talking about stuff like latency and timing and things like that, but uh, really, I don't really, none of that stuff really matters unless you're going to be overclocking or something like that. Or if you're really trying to get some kind of extreme performance. Um, I said, my machine, I do everything with my machine. And I just got the regular memory in there. So now, so what, I, what I'm going to try to remember to do in this one is, uh, there's two parts to this, so you got this part right here, which is the flatter part, and then you got this part, which is the more bevel part, where it's got a little indention in it right there. So what I like to do is take that part where the module will, come, will connect to the block and put the, um, the side that doesn't have the memory modules on the bottom, like so. So... Um, And I will line up, you can see where these numbers are, right? Oh, those aren't actually numbers. Um, <clears throat> I'm not sure what this is right here, but there's a line here. It looks like numbers, but I would like to, I'm going to line that part up with the edge, right? The edge of the module. So I'll kind of do it like that. So bam, it would fit something like that. Now that means that I gotta make sure I do the other memory the same way as well. So um, I'll give you guys a closer look. So you can see here where there's actually a line right there. Son of a bitch. That's pretty neat. Didn't even know that. So we're gonna take that line and line it up with the edge right there. We're pretty freaking close. Almost feels like there's a groove there. Feels like these things may have been designed. Okay, so there it is right there. You can see the little line. Ugh. You can see this part right here. So I line this part up with the edge right here. And on the back side, um, it's actually like a little groove right there that they go in. So that's actually pretty convenient. So that's the way we're going to line it up when we put it in there. And then we'll take each individual <clears throat> and we'll put an individual piece over all these right here and then close it up. And then I'm going to test it to make sure that it works. So I think I should have did that before, but that is okay. So 
first thing we do, we get this guy right here. And I think in a video I did last time, I was saying you really don't need any, uh, oh, all these are individual anyway. Mm, I need some that are all the way. All the way loud. It's all the way back. I got some old ones here. So I got some old ones here from somewhere else. But it's just a pad. I got this one too right here. So uh, that's perfect. Um, so these three, we will save for the other one. We'll put those there for the other uh, four models. And we'll use this guy right here. So. And like I was saying before in the other one, I was saying there's no, um, and I kind of made a mistake because there's no memory modules on the other side of the memory. So I said you didn't really have to add these, but you do need to add the thermal pads to both sides because it's going to give it a thickness. Even though there's no memory on the other side of the stick but this is just going to give it um, extra cooling if you will and it will give it that thickness that it needs to uh, fit inside you know to fill out that module fill out this module so it's just nice and it, it works good uh, so that's what we want there move this over slightly Thermal paste is good. Thermal paste. My bad. You guys can't see what we got. Thermal paste is good. So with the thermal paste, it's kind of hard to slide it. So I just want to place it as close as I can to that line. Make sure we're not getting over anything right there. See, I'm going to come right before that little... Right before that little notch. So it kind of slides right in the boom, that's it right there. I think that's it. Yeah, I feel like that's it right there. Okay, so that's good. And that thermal that thermal pad, like I said, it just gives it some little bit of adhesion and also this keeps everything in place nice as well. You want to try not to get your fingers over the memory module. But like I said, doing it this way without the um Doing it this way without the uh, taking the heat sinks off, it just seems more, way more safe. So we're going to apply each one of these on. So when we're done with this, this is going to give it, I don't like the way those are. Like it seems like I could cut these a little bit more too. As you see how they're fitting here. So I'm trying to get them as close as possible. So they fit better. Let's give us one light. Yeah. Right. That one here. I'll give them a little push. Uh, I think this last one maybe I will cut it. Scissors. Slide this. We're just gonna cut this one a little bit here. Make it fit this as possible. Still get over that long one.
And we'll cut this one too. Just gonna cut it right here. This one all the way. Now you can we can probably cut the other ones too, but um not. So I'm gonna probably what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. I'm just gonna cut two of them. I'm kind of just trying to get these to fit, the first two to fit, just like the other ones. Just like these two right here, these two right here, I get these two to fit, and I'll cut the other ones. Otherwise, it kind of overlaps. It is probably not a bad thing to overlap, but I'm trying not to. I do like how um, EK gave you the um, these heat pads, heat sink pads, and they, they they cut them individually. So I think that's pretty neat. They kind of thought about you at the application. So the last one I'm not gonna cut. I think I got enough room. Just cut in the middle one. Okay. So that works better. So bam. So everything's in there. That's nice in there. So we're just gonna take these little uh, take the other sides off. And we're gonna put it all together here. Try to slide over there. Oh man, hmm. It's easy to take these off with uh, <clears throat> like a little putty knife. I don't have one at my disposal. I do have some toenail clippers. A little thing, all right. This might make it a little easier. Let's see if this is really easier for us. Yeah, see, stuff. Now you see, I'm just trying to be as gentle as possible. Okay, this is not working for me. So, what I will do. some tweezers or something. This is always fun to do because it's so thin. I must say those a little bit easier than some of the double sided tape. Bam, I got that one. And yeah, that goes in trash. There we go. Also on here. Alright guys, next one. See my finger is doing pretty good. Good for lots of things. Success, success. Don't worry, just gotta do this like 20 more times. <laughs> Actually, I think it is 20 more times. Well, let's see, I got four, eight here, and then nine, because there's one big one on the other side. Well, that's nine on one. So nine times four, so I got to do it 36 times. I guess I'll start getting used to it. Come on. Ah. This one's fighting. Fighting, but I think we got it. Okay. Yeah. Fighting. Fighting. Alright, guys. We're halfway there. 
because the other one's going to come out a lot faster. Hopefully. Ugh. Let's see if we can give ourselves some music to listen to while we're doing this. If I'm not only do it. Uh, I know I got some music on here somewhere. See if I can find some G spectrum. Nope. Uh, red matrix.
So there we go. That's it right there. These things look really flashy. Little flash, little fancy aluminum. Just hope they get the job done. I'm pretty sure they will. So, uh, I guess it doesn't really matter if it's in this way or that way. As long as it goes in there. So we're going to go ahead and turn the computer off and make sure it works. So uh, we put the little one memory in and now we're at 32 gigabytes of memory. Um, so I had 24 in there before because I said I had a stick that was missing. So you can see now 32, so I know that memory works, so that's good. So now we can go and um, do the other memory as well. So let me get a close up here so you guys can see the little difference in um, the difference in that memory and, and, and the modules because I noticed a difference too so um, <clears throat> okay so we're getting a close-up here of a computer Oop, a little bit too close so let's back out so um, <clears throat> these are the old mem these are the uh, the bits powers right here and uh, then this is the EK so the EK it really looks a lot better when you think about it as far as like a uh, cosmetic view you don't have the separation in there those lines so it looks like it's one piece and it's actually a little bit higher it just looks cleaner um, and that's what I liked about it it is you know I got nickel in here so it matches you know um, it's not all it's nickel plated with aluminum um, <clears throat> it just looks better you know what I mean so uh, I like the way it looks in there because that looks a lot better so now I just gotta go ahead and do these other three and then once we do the other three, uh, we'll go ahead and um, 
uh, put the block on and everything. So I'll, I'll give you guys a picture of what they all look like across and then we'll put the block on. There's my block right there. It's just um, sitting there hanging. But then you got pretty much nickel on nickel. Well, aluminum plated. Aluminum with nickel plated. Actually, the block is copper with, aluminum, with nickel plating. And this is aluminum with nickel plating. So let's get to it. All right, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So, look at that extra light, extra light off. So we got them installed, and uh, we still got 32 gigs of memory. So everything looks good in here. Um, I'm looking at this right here, and you can see they're not all straight, and I believe that's because of the memory. Uh, the memory I had in here, these, they had, um, the heat sinks on them. When I took the heat sinks off, one side had like this little uh, padding on the back side. So one of the paddings was a little bit thicker, and I didn't had I didn't take it off completely the last time. So it's kind of like spaced out. But um, I can fix that. There's enough there's enough room here on the block. See all these slots, so that will alleviate that. But it just looks a whole lot better. I mean, looking at them. They look a whole lot better and cleaner than those bits powers. I guess it's just because they're shiny. They look just a whole lot sturdier. So I love the way they look on there. It's beautiful. It's great. And the good thing about these uh, heat sinks, you can actually, these are the bits powers that I have on there. I can actually still take these off and put these on memory, and they will still act as a heat sink because um, they're aluminum. So they'll still do some heat dissipation, uh, just like a normal one would. So the only difference is, um, like I said, I just got these holes right here to put a block over top of it. And this power actually makes um, blocks for uh, water cooling your um, memory. I used them before, um, but I just like the EK better. So I'm just going to go ahead and put my block back on here and um, <clears throat> tighten everything up. And then I'll, we'll finish up this video. But they look beautiful, don't they? Man, they're nice and shiny. Got the EK sign on them. It just looks aesthetic, aesthetically better. And I don't know if they do better cooling than the disc powers. I don't know. But they look badass. Oh, 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 oh. Alright guys. Um, well, that's it for our video today. To show you guys. A little change up I did to the sister. Uh, like I said, nothing that's too severe, but I did that pretty much just added more memory and changed the um, the memory modules that were on there or the memory uh, heat sinks that were on there. Um, so we're back. Uh, we're back to 32 gigabytes of memory is great, and um, probably in the future we'll upgrade to 64, depending on. When that would happen, because I'll, that all costs money, and um, we've got to work to get that money in order to do these things. So I think I'll be working on the project of building a little small computer for um, my kids to use. Uh, right now they have a laptop, but I want to build something a bit stronger, a bit stronger, so they can uh, stream uh, their YouTube videos. Uh, without any problems and hiccups make it easier for us all anyway but we'll see but we got more stuff coming as always uh so excuse me oh excuse me it's time for my bed already it's, it's getting kind of late there but anyway but uh thank you guys for watching thank you guys for subscribing and uh we'll continue to do uh what we do here all right i'm out i'm out